Hello, Papa. And welcome back, and welcome back to the newest installment, newest installment of my personal of my favorite, favorite series, favorite series Slave, Task. Slave Task. Before we get started, I want you to get down on your hands and knees, kiss the floor, and out loud, thank me for these tasks. Now make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the little bell icon to turn on all notifications for my channel. I want you to go down to the comments and leave a comment sharing with me where you see yourself in five years. Next, you're going to need to grab a pen and paper to write down your task. So, pause this video if you need to get over and grab that. Your first task is I want you to spend 20 minutes every day incorporating a mindfulness practice into your daily routine. This could be a mindfulness meditation, a deep breathing exercise to reduce stress and increase self-awareness, a gratitude journal, yoga, or tai chi, or if you have another suggestion of a mindfulness practice, please leave it down in the comments so other people can see and get ideas of ways that they can incorporate mindfulness into their everyday life. Your next task is sometime this week, I want you to plan to spend at least 30 minutes going on a gratitude walk. That means going outside, leaving your phone at home, and spending 30 minutes outside in nature, admiring your surroundings, being present in the moment with no technology, and just express gratitude for all that life has provided for you. Your next task is to clean out that junk drawer. That drawer where you put everything that you don't really know where to put it. I want you to find it a real home. Uh, if you haven't used something in that drawer in over a year, you probably don't really need it and it might be time to get rid of it. Donate it or throw it out. And maybe get a drawer organizer to help keep what does need to live in there nice and tidy and not just rolling around in that drawer all willy-nilly. Your next task is I want you to pick up a new social hobby. Maybe that's playing Dungeons and Dragons or Magic the Gathering at a local comic book shop, or taking a pottery class at your local park district, or going rock climbing with a buddy, or finding a local munch on FetLife that you could attend, or maybe it's even hiring a personal trainer, or going exercising with a buddy once a week or twice a week, or however much you can. Get that himbo bod that you've always dreamed of. Just find a new, fun way to get yourself out of the house and meeting new people. Your next task is to make sure that you're following me on Twitter at Goddess Jewels, on Instagram at Jules Opia, and are a member of both my subreddit and my Discord server. Links as always are down in the description. Your next task is sometime in the next week, I want you to plan a night where you're going to be completely screen free. That means no laptop, no tablet, no phone. Just pick a night where you come home, switch off your devices, and just completely unplug. You can journal, meditate, exercise, take a relaxing bath, listen to music, read a good book, engage in some kind of hobby that you haven't been devoting enough time to recently. Maybe, I don't know, do a puzzle. But spend at least five hours completely offline and away from screen. We don't spend enough time unplugged on you anymore, and it's so important for your mental health. Your next task, and this is this is a big one. I want you 
I want you to make learning a lifelong priority. This can be through formal education, self-study, skill building, activities. Where you t- I just want you to stay intellectually stimulated. Maybe you get on Skillshare. Maybe you start watching YouTube tutorials. Just, just learn something new. Make a commitment to continually be learning something new and be adaptable in this rapidly changing world. Stimulate your mind and just constantly be learning. I think this is such an important part to just your well-being as a human and existing in society. Your next task, this one's back to basics. I want you to wash your sheets and your blankets and your towels. And I want you to disinfect your phone and your remotes and your gaming controllers and your mouse and your keyboard and just all the little bits and pieces and whatever around your house that just constantly get touched with your hands and don't get disinfected nearly enough. That's doorknobs and light switches and just disinfect them. They don't get disinfected enough and they're just... Those are some of the dirtiest things in your house. Your next task is I want you this week to make an effort to befriend a fellow sub with similar interests. You can look on Twitter or FetLife or in my Discord or my subreddit and just try to make friends with someone who understands and accepts this part of your life. I really think that it's so important to build and maintain connections in this otherwise disconnected world. So that's sort of an ongoing theme in this installment of Slave Tasks is just trying to build community and connect with your fellow human. Your next task, I want you to volunteer. I want you to find a local animal shelter or soup kitchen or homeless shelter or just any other charitable organization in your community looking for volunteers and i want you to start giving back to your community make you can find one day a month where you can volunteer hopefully more than that but if all you can do is one day a month just make one day a month the day that you're going to give back to your community and connect with those who need it most Your next task is a little fun. I want you to paint your toenails black. And maybe even post them in my Discord. I want to see you having a little edge, having a little fun, having a little secret. People don't have to see your toenails. But you can just know that they're like cool. I don't know. Just paint your toenails black. Or if you're up for it, paint your fingernails black. Whichever one you're comfortable with. Your next task is to express your emotions. I want you to give yourself space to express a range of emotions openly and honestly. It can be through journaling or talking with a trusted friend or seeking professional support or or if you need to, it can just be like wandering out into nature and screaming and crying in the woods if that's how you express your emotions. Just get it out. Stop bottling these feelings up just express them let them out into the world feel your feelings deeply without holding back just feel your feelings that brings me to your next task and that is practicing self-compassion I want you to be kind and compassionate towards yourself. I want you to acknowledge your strengths and your limitations and practice self-care without judgment. I want you to give yourself the kind of care that you would want to uh, to give a friend who needed it. If you were someone else in your same position, if you had a friend who was in your position, I want you to give the kind of compassion to yourself that you would give to that friend. Your next task is I want you to read um, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet because I'm currently reading that and I need someone to talk to about it. So if you could read it, I'm like halfway through, but I'm a slow reader, so you should be able to catch up to me pretty fast. Um, yeah, just go go read that, please. <laughs> I need someone to talk to about the book I'm reading. Next, I want you to go back and I want you to re-watch all of my Slave Task videos. And I want you to make sure you're leaving a comment on each and every single one of them. I want you to watch them all the way through. I want you to do every task. And um, 
lastly, I want you to go down to my link tree and I want you to explore the links there and see all of the different sites I'm on. And you know, I'm always updating different sites with different fresh delights. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll leave a comment letting me know either what your favorite task this week was or what kind of tasks you want to see more of in the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.